Welcome back to part four, guys. I'm just putting my barbarians in the new scavenger room. And I'm also putting the higher level thieves in there, and um, that will shortly result in every single thief on the level being under my control. You'll notice you can hear the scavenger room sound, that basically means that the creature is being scavenged at this point. Um, there you go, as you can see, level 7 thieves, level 6 giants are basically what's uh, in this area, and the level 7 thieves are falling by the minute. Uh, there's also one or two uh, barbarians less than there used to be. At this point I decide the scavenger room isn't big enough and make it even bigger. It's debatable whether you need it to be this size to tell you the truth, but uh, I decided more the merrier at this point in time. You can never have enough eyeballs on stalks. Ooh, now we look inside the hero dungeon and there are no thieves whatsoever. I have scavenged them all. And it's exactly the same with barbarians. I've scavenged a lot of them as well. So it's only the barbarian. It's only the giants that sell. Oh no, there's one barbarian left, but he appears to be frozen, so he'll be mine soon as well. Okay, I believe it is time to assault the central area. Now, one thing to be careful of. Some of your minions are unable to reach their lairs. If you go beyond a certain point um, in the castle, the Lord of the Lands party will spawn. And I don't want that to happen until I've got the giants on my side. The game tells you something about direct the heroes towards the enemy keeper, but I don't want to do that. As usual, Home Reaper's annoyed. Your creatures are becoming angry. We need a bigger temple. This is going so to be a Donny Brook. To reach their lairs. Your creatures are under attack. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Your minions are winning the battle. Your minions are Fortunately, the battle. giants are slow, so they can't uh Creatures are becoming angry. So giants can't actually um, back each other up very quickly. Your minions are winning a battle. Hungry creatures cannot get to a hatchery. Some of your minions are unable to reach their lairs. In fact, the archers are able to put up a decent fight because they can just constantly keep out of range. Oh, but now they're all getting in an area, so I've got to get range fighters in here. Which means wizards! Your minions are unable to reach their lairs. Your minions are winning a battle. Also, make sure that your creatures, as they're spreading out now, make sure they don't. I'm just using a call to arms to lead them back into the dungeon. Um, I don't want that hero party triggering until I have all these giants under my control. That's always annoying when they wake up. But I'm actually going to let my level 3 monk beat him up just for the... Your minions are winning a battle. Just because of the whole indignity, but... Uh, <laughs> and just get the last one. And let's see what becomes of them. I'm also dooring this area off. Oh, just the standard hero torture animation. To be fair, giants do not take a lot of persuading. And they're all under my control now. They're actually pretty good in the workshop. Beware, the Lord of the Land approaches. We shall have 
Yeah, he seems to be on his own, but yeah, that's three, six, oh. That is six level six samurai he's come in with, and that is a problem. Now, I could... What I could do if I was feeling pretty evil is actually um, use um, lightning to weaken them. But the problem is I don't want to risk killing them. So I'm just throwing everything in there and hoping that things turn out for the best. And it looks like it worked. I've got all of them alive. Although I may have lost a reaper there, I'm honestly not sure. I think I did. Sneakily behind the dungeon heart here, you'll see the destroy wall spell. That'll come in useful later. In your graveyard. Oh, and we get a vampire as well. Nice. Your creatures are under attack. Oh, uh, one of the samurai wakes up. Always annoying. Your minions are winning a battle. Go thieves! Your creatures are becoming angry. Anyway, now that we've got all of you... Better heal them up, can't have them dying on me. Right, now that's happened. You will all be mine. You'll all... Oh, while I'm at it, it looks like some of my giants and barbarians have taken it upon themselves to smash the dungeon heart. Never mind. An enemy has been converted to your course. See, samurai are so special they get a... information block. And we finally have the training room. Now, it's time for a couple of tips on this, because even though we have the training room and gems, we do not have infinite resources because we have masses of creatures like we did in Blaze End. I would recommend that you let fairies and tentacles constantly train. They don't cost anything and they're very useful at high levels. Giants and barbarians are useful in the workshop, so they can wait for the moment. They are expensive to train. Ditto for archers and thieves, but they're just because they're not that useful. Don't train horn reapers yet. They're too expensive. You can train all your barbarians and giants to level 10 for the cost of training reapers to level 2, to, le to about level 7. Dragons, vampires and wizards are expensive, but not many, so just don't train them with the giants and you'll be fine. Priority one is Dark Mistresses and Samurai. Uh, basically at level 10 they're close to unstoppable and they will win the level for us. You've got a lot of time in this level, use it wisely. Um, the enemy keeper is extremely passive. If you want to train your level 1 imps up to go on the gems, by all means do. Uh, Again, just do it first, so you've got plenty of money on the gems. And if you really want to uh, total victory the level, train all your thieves up to level 10 and beyond, and you'll end up with an army of knights or lord the lands at your disposal. But that's up to you. See you in part 5, where we'll end it.